Hello there and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, you will learn what are the demonstrative adjectives, demonstrative pronouns, and how they are being used. In English, we have four, and those are this, these, that, and those. We use the first two to refer to some things that are near the speaker and we use the last two for things that are far from the speaker. In Spanish, however, we have 12. If the subject is near the person speaking, then he or she will be using any of the following four. Este for masculine singular, esta for feminine singular, Estos for masculine plural and estas for feminine plural. If the subject is far from the person speaking, then he or she should use any of the following four, namely ese for masculine singular, esa for feminine singular, esos for masculine plural, and esas for feminine plural. If the subject is far from the person speaking and far from the person to whom he is speaking with, then he or she should use the following aquel for masculine singular, aquella for feminine singular, aquellos for masculine plural, and aquellas for plural feminine. We'll use each of those in a sentence. First one is este. For example, este libro es interesante. I use este because it is near the speaker, near me. And it refers to a masculine noun, libro, el libro. Next sentence, esta almohada es tierna. I used esta because the subject, almohada, is near the speaker and it's a feminine noun. Another example, but this time we'll just be imagining things because I no longer have other things that we can use for example here. So, um, example, um, Estos pantalones son nuevos. Estos, because it's near the speaker, just for example, it's near me, and it's in the plural form, pantalones. Another one, estas pijamas son largas. Estas, because it's near me, assuming it's near me, and it's feminine plural. For the equivalent of that, and that is the uh, second set that we've mentioned a while ago, wherein it's being used when the subject is far from the speaker. We can simply use the example that we provided for the first batch. Uh, for example, ese libro, meaning that book, ese libro es interesante, o esa almohada es suave, meaning that pillow, far from me, that pillow is um, soft. Also, esos pantalones son nuevos, same goes with esas. Um, meaning that in English. Esas pijamas son largas. So it refers to subject. It refers to things that are far from the speaker. For the third set, and those are aquel, aquella, aquellos, aquellas, we could simply translate those in English as either that or those. But to make it clear that indeed uh, the person or the subject is uh, far from the person speaking and far from the um, uh, person speaking to whom he is speaking with, then um, we could uh, add the word over there. Uh, for example, aquel libro es interesante, meaning that book, that book over there is interesting. Uh, same goes with aquella, aquellos, and aquellas. Aquella almohada es suave, meaning that pillow, uh, far from me, far from the person whom I am speaking with, is soft. That pillow over there is soft, or simply that pillow is soft. Aquellos pantalones son nuevos, aquellas pijamas son largas. That's basically how it works in Spanish. When it comes to the demonstrative uh, pronoun, we only have three in Spanish, and those are esto, eso, aquello. Uh, we just need to drop the uh, ending e and then replace it with uh, letter o. And as regard aquello, um, just add lo. So, esto, eso, aquello. And by the way, uh, we use this demonstrative pronoun for something that is unknown. For example, que es esto? What is this? 
¿Qué es eso? What is that? Esto es lo que necesitamos. Aquello no es necesario. Or aquello es imprescindible. Referring to something that is farther away in terms of uh, place or time. I think that's all for today. Bye.